Okay, so now that we are talking in the world of facts, here is another one. I'm going to read this directly from the MEPS website, MEPPS.com. Check it out, our favorite fishing lure for brook trout. But they have a program where they are purchasing squirrel tails from hunters in exchange for money or lures. Nice. Because they use actual squirrel tails Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. for for their fishing lures, which now visually I can I can see that. Yeah. So this is what it says. We need them to create hand tied dressed hooks for our world famous fishing catching lures. We've tried hundreds of natural and synthetic materials, bear hair, fox, coyote, badger, skunk, deer, even Angus cow. But nothing works as well as a squirrel tail hair. We've been recycling squirrel tails for over half a century. In fact, we recycle more of them than anyone else in the world. The fact is, squirrel tails are all hair, no fur. I didn't know that. Huh. So <clears throat> you can picture it now, but the it's, it is all hair. Yeah. Whereas normally, like looking at when you used to have hair, you had hair, <laughs> you had fur, you had the whole thing. Nope. Now you just got fur. You're thinking of your family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't let me have Your it. dad's a bear. <clears throat> he, my dad, when I was a kid, <laughs> bear, my dad convinced me that we we're half Indian, uh, Native American and uh, half uh, grizzly bear. And that in a, a couple, like 20 generations ago, there was a lonely female who made it with a grizzly bear. Oh my and God. then that made us his offspring. And that's why he was so hairy. And you believed it. I know <laughs> you he, believed it. And not only that, yeah, I believe he it. We told, told everyone. me that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came over sometime after that, and I, it was early in the morning. I knocked on the door. He answers the door, and he's not wearing a shirt. It's like <laughs> <laughs> that hairy man is my grizzly bear. And then I, <laughs> and then I was born without a hair on my body. So there we are. Yep. Anyhow, the so the fact is that squirrel tails are all hair, no fur. Practically all other animals have fur tails, with just a few guard hairs. Fur doesn't have any of the rip have the rippling, pulsating movement of squirrel hair. In the water so fur just doesn't do it for them uh, it doesn't work as well and doesn't attract as many fish and squirrels are plentiful plus squirrel is some of the best wild meat and their skins are used for caps coats glove linings and many other items but the tail is usually just thrown away we're asking you to help us recycle this valuable resource and we're offering you a reward for your effort so um, <clears throat> that's all really fine and dandy because obviously we like squirrel hunting it's mm -hmm. honestly squirrel hunting's up there for me as far as excitement goes yeah. I, I i i like it jeff i think it's your favorite thing isn't it it's definitely top three yeah well what are your top three duck hunting squirrel hunting and <clears throat> uh spear fishing yeah maybe spear fishing that's a lot you're of fun. so good at spear and fishing I'm weirdly good at it for no reason you like <laughs> snake hunting too yeah when we did pythons in the cool. everglades you're pretty good at but anyhow yeah so this was a cool point that I like that they said. MEPS is only interested in recycling tails taken from squirrels that have been harvested for the table. We do not advocate taking squirrels strictly for their tails. Squirrel tails cannot be sold in California. It's illegal to sell western gray squirrel tails in the state of Oregon and state of Idaho regulations that only red and fox squirrel tails can legally be sent to MEPS. So there's a couple rules there. But what I took from it was, and my excitement for it was, the fact that they understood that, like, they don't want people going out there just slaughtering squirrels yeah. for their tails. Sure. To, you know, to make fishing lures. That if you are going to participate in this program, utilize the meat. Squirrel is fantastic. Yeah. Jeff, you cook it all the time. And and, and they did it smart, too, because they're not they're not giving enough, you know, money or bounty or whatever you want to call it per squirrel tail for it to be worth it for people to just go out and get a squirrel and then send the tail in. It's not, like, profitable, but it's cool if you can get lures back or what is it? i think it was 16 cents per tail if you're sending in under 100 yeah so i'll break down the pricing for you so <clears throat> if you sell send in under 100 you get f of gray fox and black squirrel tails you get 16 cents each so it's not a ton of money jeff you can do the math on that though um what <laughs> we've would... got, got 15 in my garage right now so i'd get i think just barely enough to get one lure Right, if they're like, or to cover posts. Well, well, hold bucks. on, hold on, on that. So <laughs> you're jumping ahead. So the thing is, 
Uh, one point is if you send in fifty or more, they cover the shipping for you. Oh yeah, okay. which is which is helpful because the shipping could eat up all the profit. You know, you're not going to send in three tails. Yeah, <laughs> you're kind of you're kind of setting out to that that fifty mark seems to be the minimum before it starts to be worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. So if you did fifty times point uh, one six, so let's say sitting on the low side, that's that's eight bucks. Indeed. So you're not getting a ton, but I hope it's in money order. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, but with that, I wonder if you got to claim that on your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody comes beating your door in. Hey, now here's what they'll do for you though: they'll multiply it by two. Oh, if, that's what it was. Yeah. If you want to use your credits towards uh, lures instead, so then you're at sixteen bucks, which is I used the 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 map spinners for brook trout fishing, which would that would probably be three or four different maps I would be able to use for brook trout yeah, yeah. fishing. Which would probably, depending on the river, get me through a couple, a uh, couple runs. You know, so it's it's kind of cool. But in addition to that, and this is kind of the point, is like when people are like, "Oh, that's not enough," or this or that. It's like, well, what were you gonna do with them otherwise? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> now you're fair. getting now you're getting some fishing lures. <laughs> Seems a little low for me. You know, I've got like 15 or 20 squirrel tails in my <laughs> garage that were sitting there that I was for sure gonna do nothing with. And they're gonna offer me sixteen cents per tail. Come on. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's that's what's kind of silly. Now this is something I didn't quite understand, but it says for premium tails they're offering twenty cents each. So I don't hmm. know what dictates a premium tail because I would have thought fox squirrel was a premium tail. Yeah, and so that it depends. must be some some you should maybe it's like the just fo girthy, fox maybe. yeah the well, age the size some of them are beautiful some you shoot them and you get up there and it's like Ugh. what happened to that squirrel? <laughs> don't send them in wet, right? <laughs> yeah. Jeff, why don't you talk about how you're supposed to package them? Uh, so what you do is you take them and you uh, cut them off right at the base of the where the spine connects to the tail. And then from there, you consult the um, the base of the tail. So that way it helps it kind of dry out. It doesn't decay and get gross. Um, a lot like you would do with a, uh, a turkey mount if you were going right. to get a turkey. Um, so you take it, you salt it. Uh, leaving the bone in is really important. I don't remember exactly why. I'm going to explain that. I um, was just – that just cover how to send it. Yeah, yeah. But so the then rest. you take them, you salt it, you put them in a shoe box, and then you can put them in your freezer. And then when you're ready to send them in, send them in in the shoe box, and they'll try to get 50 of them because they'll cover the cost of shipping, and then they'll send you back lures. I like that it's MEPS doing it too Yeah. because it's like primo lures. Like mm -hmm. you go – listen – Let's let's call a spade a spade here. If you go into Bass Pro Shops and you're picking out one of the different spinner baits we're going to use for brook trout fishing, there's other ones that are slightly cheaper. There's others that are slightly more. Mm -hmm. But if you want one that's just going to consistently work, that's what we've always used. Our brook trout episode, um, we call it episode one, but it's technically season three, episode one. Um, that's mm -hmm. literally what we were using in there. Yep. Brook trout, you know, uh, MEPS number one spinners in silver. Um, and I like the one with the really bright orange hook guard yeah, that goes yeah. on there but so talking about grading the squirrel tail so it's somewhat subjective but our experienced professionals will take good care of you so they'll reject one in general you won't get paid for they won't use it if it's uh loose and shedding uneven hair tail is curled bone is removed and no salt it's not salted frozen dried or, or it's you know it's spoiled or whatever yeah, it might yeah. be they're not going to accept it now an average tail that would fetch the 16 cents would be long, relatively straight hair. Tail is relatively straight and flat. No loose or shedding hairs. The bone is left in, and it's not spoiled. Now, yeah. a premium, well-cared-for one would be long, straight hair. Tail is straight and flat. No loose or shedding hairs. Bone left in. And uh, we'll, we'll put a picture up on the screen so you can kind of see the difference. It's pretty obvious what you're going to get um, when you look at a, a squirrel tail. And I would say that I would, I would bet... 90% of the squirrels you'll harvest, at least I can guarantee in Michigan, 90% of them are going to be good enough quality to make the, the, the high grade. Yeah. I'd say 85, maybe even 90%, but 90% um, of them are going to be that. It's how you take care of them after. You know, if you let them get all crinkled up or yeah, let yeah. them sit <laughs> wet or something like that, hmm. then you're not going to get as much for them. And yeah. I, I, I think that's what it really comes down to. Um, they say the best times to send them are between October and May, mm -hmm. um, just for the the the, fr the freezing capabilities and everything like that. Yeah. And how to how to submit it? Tails are best on squirrels taken after October first. That's because of obviously um, the shedding and things for like sure. that. 
Do not remove the bone from the tail. Deboned and split tails have absolutely no value. <laughs> salt the butt end of the tail generously. Use either dry salt or dip in strong salt water solution. Mm -hmm. Be sure the tail is straight before drying. Tails that dry in curl position cannot be used, as you can imagine. Would you want it on your fishing lure? Think about it. Come on, people. <laughs> um, <clears throat> do I'm, not, I'm not understanding this. Why it, You're cutting off a piece of hair and tying it on a lure. Why does it have to – why does a curled tail affect – the hair because if it gets all wet and curled and stuff they don't have like straight it's actual hair so they want to use straight hair on the lure because if you picture it it's on a treble hook oh, right okay. <clears throat> right and it's all straight hairs well they're not going to be like crimping straightening out hairs on 16 cent tails they're not like using a hair straightener if they have right. curled hairs they won't they won't flow as well in the water yeah it'll cause a yeah it's and just, then instead no. of being nice and spinning it, it could so they don't have like a process in place so, to straighten them out Okay, so the curl in the tail is what yeah. will will f almost like a dead end. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's a that's a good and, way. And and the better you treat them, the longer the hair will last. You know, these things don't last forever. You know, they will eventually start to kind of yeah break down and stuff like hair does. But and and what's the significance of leaving the bone in if you're just going to use the hair? Uh, structure, structure. So by leaving the bone in. I, th I would assume too it would probably slow the rotting process. But when you pull that bone out, I'm sure you're I'm sure you're compromising the integrity of the entire tail, you yeah. know, and, okay. and the, the skin that's attached and yeah. you're pulling it out. And I'm yeah. sure it just the more you handle it, the more likely you are to mess up <laughs> right. the individual hair. Okay. So, and they're just trying to, like, make the rules as strict as possible so that you're most likely to get. Well, the, the, the other most thing, the, other, the strictest rules also make it <clears throat> easier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. The strictest rules are easy. The other thing is, think about it. They're They're like pulling the hair away from the skin and bone in order to cut it off in order to put right. it into the thing. Okay. So if the bone's in there, it makes it, it keeps it more taut. It's easier something to pull against uh, in order to pull it up. Easier then, for the manufacturing exactly. process. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so do not put tails in plastic bags. Um, keep the tails away from flies. Best storage is in a freezer. Do not send tails until if they have been exposed to flies. I can only imagine. That's <laughs> like our yeah. garbage that one time we forgot to take it out. Right. Um, they okay. Do not put tails in plastic bags for storage or shipment. They could heat up and spoil. Yeah. The best time to ship is during cold weather months. Dried squirrel tails may be shipped anytime. Put your name, address, phone number, email address, and tail count inside each package, and please indicate whether you would like to receive the cash value for your tails, or you would like to take advantage of our lure exchange program. You can simply write trade for cash or trade for lures right in there. Ship first class mail. Um, and again, like I mentioned, they will actually cover the shipping should you uh, send in over 50. And send your tails to Sheldon's Inc. at 626 Center Street, Antigo, Wisconsin, 54409. Once MAPT has received your tails, our experienced team will grade the tails as premium, average, or unsuitable. And with over 30 years of experience, you can trust that their appraisal, their appraisal will be fair and accurate. If you have indicated trade for cash, a check will be sent to you. If you've indicated trade for lures, you'll be contacted to take your lure order for the total amount. I thought we liked maps. What do you mean? You just shared their address. You just doxed them. <laughs> what, what is doxed? Nice. What is, funny. What is doxed? Oh, you don't know? No. It's like when you are upset with someone, so you go <clears> online <throat> and you share their address, and then people will like order pizzas and send it to their house, and they'll like harass them. Oh. So it was a joke. Well, oh, I... I they posted their address, so you're obviously not doxing them. It was a joke, and you didn't get it, and you've ruined it now. Well, I only I'm get good AJ, jokes. I'm glad AJ got it. I get good jokes. <laughs> Me and Ryan are uh, joke snobs, and um, Ryan, you, what do you got? Sorry, grade I'll, that low. I'll dumb it down for the rest of the episode. I, if, <laughs> if, your, if your joke was a squirrel tail, I would say that you took the bone out and you exposed it to flies, okay? That's good. Um, now, here's the coolest thing about this whole deal is they've got these really cool squirrel tail T-shirts. So, Meps, when you see this video... Our address, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do that to myself, but we will send you our address because I want a size medium Hunt Squirrels Recycle Your Tail shirt because that is one of the coolest shirts it I've ever seen. It is made out of 100% woven Cotton. squirrel hair. <laughs> squirrel, squirrel hair. Yeah, it's a squirrel, t it, it is, and it's, that only, it's only $20 I feel like and that based would be on the. A very itchy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but a good lure. So I, I think it would be really cool if we filmed a hunt cast with MEPS. Yeah. So our hunt cast, because a lot of people know, uh, we have a, our main TV show is on Sportsman Channel every uh, Tuesday morning and Saturday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. 
we have a secondary show which kind of follows a different platform. Our main TV show follows the five segments of the Greenway Gear Checklist, which is all you need for the all the gear you need for that hunting or fishing trip. The Conservation Corner covers the conservation of that species. We show you the hunting or fishing trip in a reality show style format. And we show you how to cook it in our studio kitchen. It follows that story arc every time. Whereas sometimes, like this cool thing, we want to follow a different platform and reach a different audience, which uh, our Huntcast tends to reach a younger audience. Yeah. We like to create uh, the secondary show again called our hunt cast. So in this case, what I would like to do is I would like to go do a squirrel hunt, possibly in Wisconsin, because I have family there too. So it'd be cool to visit them. Yeah. And then I'd like to get our squirrel tails, take them through the process of taking them to the MEPS facility, mm -hmm. have them take our squirrel tails, show us how they grade them, show us how they do it, exchange them for some lures, go through the whole, like have our squirrel tail end up on lures, and yeah. then use those lures. And then go trout fishing or some sort of fishing because you can catch yeah. anything with the maps. They make something for everything. We could use Black Furies if we wanted pike. Mm -hmm. We could use, um, you know, the, the the trout lures that we always use, the number one silvers. You can use whatever. But I want to catch fish with the squirrel tail lures then and kind of have that all insert. That would be sweet. That would be cool. I want to do that. That would be neat. I think they will also think it's neat. Yeah. I hope they do. Or I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> something that I've always wanted to do. Or I'll take I... my squirrel business elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that I thought would be cool would uh... – I read a thing about hunting squirrel from a boat. Now, I don't think you can do it everywhere, but there are certain areas where you can go and either go in like a canoe and float down the river. The guy or... wants us to poach every day. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> At night. We love stories it's just about a, him too. It's a, it's a different tactic that, that I've never tried before, and I think it'd be cool. It'd be kind of fun yeah. in a kayak. Yeah. Just yeah. like go for a nice cruise down a river. Take a 22 Take... or a 17 HMR or a sounds 10 like gauge. A, sounds like an easy way to like, be close to a house and not realize you're close to a house or yeah you'd have to be for sure aware of your surroundings because you're moving you're you know yeah. so it's a it's a different kind of hunt you're gonna want to on x man yeah we'll check be good on x pretty closely yeah sure have that right up in the front so